Okay, y'all, I am headed to the state park. I was live and it kept buffering. So now I am just gonna show y'all the rest of the way to me driving. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this state park. But anyway, we're on our way and I will talk to you guys. I will see you when I get there. sites available uh, they only had one available with the primitive camping but you have to walk in and I didn't feel like walking in So, I just got a day pass, and we're just going to go see what we can see into park. We're just going to go see what we can see. So, and see if it's worth spending the night somewhere tonight and coming back. to the state park the uh, one section of it is closed off they say they or have reached capacity they didn't have any camping sites available and you have to walk down to the swimming hole we parked way down there I didn't know it was a place to park down here because I would have drove my van down here instead of walking so Anywho, and I got a little map. I didn't understand that. And they did have a thing on there saying, warning you about the diamondback rattlesnakes. So obviously, when you go on the trails, trails out here, they say beware of the rattlesnakes. So if I decide to go hiking, I will probably put on my rattlesnake uh, pads and stuff. So we're supposed to be walking down to the swimming hole. So that's what I'm doing right now to see where the swimming 
area is just to take a look at it. I'm not gonna say so ma'am. It's so windy girl. My hat is about to blow out. Foot traffic only to the swimming area. So but you could could park up here. Don't park back there when you first come in because you're gonna have to walk further. And there is no internet connection. Nah whatsoever. So just to let you know that no internet. There are stairs down this way. So you need to watch your step. I don't know what the water levels are gonna be, but a lot of people are headed down this way. So I hope I hope it is gonna be worth the trip because there are a lot of people headed down this way. And the stay and uh, these stairs or there are a lot of stairs. So looking the mountain. Wildflowers smell good. Look at that little red flower over there. I wish it was, oh, I was gonna say, I wish it was closer where we could have, I could have seen it. What do they call this? That is so pretty. It's a Russian thistle. It's, oh. it's not native to here. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, they are sharp. Oh, this is my first time seeing one. She say Russian thistles, you guys. She say they are not native to here. I wonder how they got here then. Somebody must have planted some seeds. Oops, oops. Lord, which way should you go? I'm confused. So they're sand on the beach. I wore my tennis shoes. I didn't put on no beach shoes. I didn't plan to get in the water, but we might have to take our shoes off and see what we can see. The water is low. So if you ask me, it's nothing really to get in. It's more like walking across. Okay, y'all, this is how it's looking on this end. I think the farther you go down, the deeper the water goes and the more privacy you have because nobody else is walking down this way. They have sand saying make sure you wear your crocs or if you wear your shoes in because they have a lot of rocks if you wear your shoes in make sure you uh looks like there's a trail if you wear your shoes in make sure you bring a backpack so they got spots where the water is a little deeper. Hmm. Is that a butterfly down there? I might take my shoes off and stick my feet in the water. I'm gonna go just a little farther down and see what I can see. Does it end here or does the trail keep going? You can walk out and sit on a rock So, I think I'm gonna find me a place down that way to just sit, sit for a little right while. Up in here. And nestle myself in. And I might take my shoes off and sit and put my feet in the water. Whoa.
be prepared for a walk, you guys, down to the swimming area. And if you're gonna walk that far down, take, take something to eat with you so you can stay down there for a while. And you don't have to come back up to get you anything to eat like I'm having to do. I could have stayed down there longer, but I'm hungry and I don't have anything with me. Pack your trash out. Don't leave it down there. They have trash cans once you make it back up. Throw your trash away. Okay. Let's go get some lunch. Okay, y'all. This is the section that they had closed earlier. So now they're letting people down here. It's going on 4 p.m. So I'm going to go down here, see what I can see, and See if I want to come back tomorrow or move on to another state park in the area. So I'm going to see what I want to do if I want to come back and get an early start tomorrow chill and relax by the water put my hammock out like the lady get here early enough where I can get that spot <laughs> so we will see so let me see which way we're going bird blind equestrian trail star theater I would like to see the bird blind. But we're gonna go down here and see if we can see. I doubt very seriously that they have enough water for the waterfall. But anyway, we're gonna check it out anyway. Okay, well the walk wasn't too far down, but you can go down that way as well. So I'm gonna go down that way in a minute. So the water is low, definitely low, low, low. So they're not supposed to be in the water at all. But I always got somebody breaking the rules. So we're going to go down and see if we can get a little closer. We got people on the rocks over there. So I'm going to see how this looks over here. Let me take a picture. Okay, so I'm going to walk down this way. They got trash cans everywhere. So you can bring your trash. And here we go again with the steps. Walk in and walk up. How did they get down there? There's people over there on the other end of the rocks. Oh. They walked down. This goes down. So, yeah, this goes down. Okay, I'm gonna walk down and see how far we go. Another warning sign, no swimming. No swimming.
<laughs> Y'all, I hope I'm on a path because I definitely don't know how. <laughs> oh, if you're not in shape, you're not gonna be able to do this, girl. You're not gonna be able to do this. Look at this little water right there. Wow. How do you get, how do you know which way to get out of here? Uh-oh, I hope I don't fall, y'all. So this is what you do to get a better view. <laughs> this is what you do to get a better view. And how do you get out of here? Who knows? How to get out of here? Let me take a picture. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm gonna try to walk down here <laughs> to get over there. And they did tell us to watch out for rattlesnakes. So let's hope. Ain't no rattlesnakes up in these parts. Look at the little water pool right there. Water's supposed to be flowing all over this, y'all. This is how high the water's supposed to be, I think, but it's not. Because this is supposed to be a waterfall. So, it's no waterfall. A little waterfall it's not at the like the McKinney Falls State Park it's nothing nothing waterfalling that's how dry and low the water is nothing is waterfalling let me see can I get up there I don't want to try that else not a lot of people down here you want to have this area to yourself take the trip from all the way up there
thought I was gonna walk over there by going over there, but there's a big gap in between it and you can't get over there from there. So I'm not gonna be able to go over there, but I did see like a water hole over there and it has some fish in there and it has some rushing water on top of the rock over there. So let's go and check it out. I'm gonna see if I can get to it from here. I think there's a gap in between there. I think I'm gonna have to go back this way. I don't feel like jumping with my phone. Jumping there, I just jumped there. So let me see if I can go up, 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 up at the top and see if we can see that water that's rushing see if the water levels were the way they were supposed to be water would be flowing all through here on top of here and everything but i don't know if the water levels will ever get back to normal again but look we got a little movement of water. A little movement. So, I'm gonna try to find my way back out of here. Uh, people went down in the caves down there and put their names on it. That's goes to show you how low the water was. If the water ever gets high again, you won't see those names. I think I came this way. I remember that. Somebody need to come out here with a spray can and spray the way. Spray the way. Oops, I'm almost about to fall down. I think I got it now. I think I will make it back. I think I'm on a path that leads back up. I should have worn my other tennis shoes. If you got woo, if you got a pair of tennis shoes that you normally use for hiking, wear those so you won't mess up your other tennis shoes. I think I'm going the right way, y'all. Oh, my knees. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't fall down and hit your knee on one of these rocks. That is going to be painful. So that's where we came from and we still got a way to go because i'm not to the stairs yet okay see i'm coming up a different way than when i came down because i went down that way Whew, jesus we found our way back to the stairs though so. that is all that matters child it's more than one way to skin a cat and a rat and a bat. Okay. I'll see y'all when I get back to my van. So I was all the way down there. 
I was on this end. I didn't go on this end over here where everybody is. Let me take a picture. This over here. Jesus. That was a workout. Okay, y'all. How about there are stairs thing? down that way if you want to go this way. Okay. I went that way over there. I think this way would probably be easier. But I am through for the day. I am not going anywhere else but up. 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 Are those y'all glasses? Excuse me. Excuse me. Did y'all leave y'all eyeglasses? It's two pair of eyeglasses right here. Okay, they'll probably still be there. Yes, unless the person comes back and finds them. Okie dokie, Smokey. Let's get on up out of here. Let's ease on down, ease on down the road. Don't you carry nothing but a bottle of water. Because <laughs> anything else going to be too heavy. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go back this way. Okay, I think that's the way. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Oh, cha. An old woman is beat. Oh, this is not for the faint at heart. This is not for the faint at heart. Y'all, I need somebody to pack me up out of here. I see four healthy, abled body men. They could pack me up out of here, girl. I'm gonna lay down and holler, Hell! <laughs> see if they pack me up out of here. <sighs> okay, y'all. I made it back to where the vehicles are. And uh, I think there's a bathroom over here. They even have a soda machine. I am going to go use the bathroom and then I'm gonna get out of here and go into town, find the nearest store. And go into town. And uh, go get me some snacks so we could celebrate. I got a movie that I'm uploading. So that's gonna be it for me. I'll see y'all when I get to the car after I use the bathroom. Okay, you guys, I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it back to the car, y'all. And I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I'm had enough for one day, like the old man say. All your gravy ran all over my plate. That means it's too much. Okay. I had too much. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get up out of here. I'm ready to call it a day. And then I got to see where I'm gonna sleep at tonight. So, uh, I can't get a signal until I get up to Otis Park and go to the road. So then I can find out what direction to go from there. We might end up at another state park tomorrow or somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to see what else is in this area. But there are a lot of state parks not far. Uh, that would have been a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful waterfall, y'all. Had the water. It was a, a elderly couple.
couple, they say they had been here years ago when the water was all the way high. All the rocks that you see, they say it was covered in water and the water was flowing. Uh, but the water is so low now. So low. Anyway, it's still pretty. I don't think the water is going to ever get back up the way it was because it's, it's a drought everywhere. It's a drought. Like, it's, it's a worldwide drought. So, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Thank y'all for watching and tuning in today. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I'm going to after I say bye, I'm going to let y'all see the, the way out. So, I'll let y'all ride out with me. But I'm going to say bye to y'all. Because, girl, I am hot. I am sweaty. I need to find a Planet Fitness. Uh, over by the swimming pools. Uh, you know, by the, uh, not the swimming pool, but the swimming hole. They do have showers over there. I don't know if I should go over there and take a shower, y'all. They, they do have showers on their side. But I need to go uh, and go to the store, get out of here before it gets dark. It is 4.38, so I got plenty of time to head on out of here. I enjoyed myself. If I feel like doing some more hiking tomorrow and just spending the day by the water, I'll come back. I really would rather be at McKinney Falls State Park though because I like to hear the sound of the rushing water. This water is just sitting still, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, but I think I would prefer this. Uh, I think I would prefer McKinney Falls State Park to this park. Uh, if I had to choose. Now when the water is flowing at both of the parks and the water is to its capacity I would have to visit both of them again to see uh, which one I would prefer I think both of these parks are something that you should put on your must see to do list and you can come annually especially if you're a Texan and you're in the area I think it's worth coming annually at least once a year if you live in the area have a state park pass you can come to the park every single day like McKinney Falls State Park is in a neighborhood people can come to that state park every single day I think this state park is a little more out of the way just a little bit uh, but if the water levels were up to par it would be worth coming and I would like to uh, come here one day when I could camp, but I would have to make some reservations online because I'm tired of like next year when I know what I'm gonna do and I put myself on a schedule. I hate being on a schedule though because you might, might go somewhere and wanna stay longer. But you kinda really need to book ahead, especially in the summertime because everybody is summer vacationing and when you get there, you're not gonna have a campsite always come to do the day pass but if you want to camp you need to book ahead so thank you guys for watching tuning in if you have any questions leave them down in the comments bar below leave lots of comments on the video subscribe 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 if you haven't already and i am going to talk to y'all later i love y'all i appreciate y'all have a blessed and wonderful day thanks for watching bye now